uh, in terms of Ballard, we have uh, quite a few selection. Uh, the first family of Ballards I'm gonna talk about is the Mac, uh, which is one of the oldest one and one of the, the best seller at Structura. It's a wood ballard that can be open on one face or two faces. And that also comes with a matching illuminating column. So when you look at those pictures, it's, in, it's interesting to see the, uh, the installation you can do with that, playing with light and shadow as on the right side picture here. That works both for the column and, uh, and the ballards. Uh, another series is the Spar LED Ballard. So this one is a square ballard that is based out of our square pole, essentially taking uh, shorter. The idea here is to be able to, um, uh, to place LED strips on one, two, three, or four sides of this ballard to provide a, a vertical light wherever you need it on your project. So you can have a dozen ballards with different illumination configurations depending on where you place those uh, strips of LED on your ballards. Uh, those LED strips can be static white, static color, RGB, RGB white, or amber. Uh, so uh, it can match different applications for your project. And the SPAR LED grows from two feet up to 16, 18 feet. So uh, again, on the column side, you, you can have the light on one, two, three, or four sides. And as you can see on the right side picture, uh, we can even play with uh, the pattern of that LED strip Instead of having, having it straight, we can uh, do some wave uh, patterns with that on the column. Uh, the ball LED is essentially the same uh, idea, but with a round shape instead of a square shape. And here you can have those LED uh, strips installed at 90 degrees from one another. Again, that product runs from two feet high up to uh, 16, 18 feet. Playing with wood, we also have two solar ballard, uh, the Zora. Uh, and on those two solar ballard, we worked on collaboration, in collaboration with a company called First, First Light Technology out of Vancouver, uh, British Columbia, a company that has been uh, doing uh, solar solutions for the past 15 years. So the Zora uh, is a, a pathway uh, illumination head comes with a solar panel on top, a battery is integrated inside of the shaft of the ballard, uh, and this fixture comes with 3000 Kelvin, 4000 Kelvin, and amber um, in terms of core temperature. Provides up to uh, 700 lumens output when it's connected to the grid and 300 uh, lumens output when it's a solar version. Uh, the Atta Ballard is the other solar option we, we are offering. This one is more of a visual cue uh, to be installed on your project. Uh, the output is about 150 lumens, so it's not gonna help you get uh, egress lighting on your project, but if you, if you need points of light at the end of your property or uh, close to a pathway where uh, it's hard to get access to the grid, it's a great solution to, uh, to have. A question, um, do you, have you integrated other people's solar panels on larger projects, um, either on the wood side or the steel and aluminum side? Uh, we have worked in the past, uh, again, with uh, First Light Technologies integrating one of their head that has a solar, pa solar panel integrated on it, yeah. but uh, not really integrating those uh, like four by four solar panels <laughs> with a big ass battery on it. Yeah. Uh, it, it, we might be able to do that on our steel poles for yeah. structural reason, uh, but on the wood poles, uh, the, the poles are essentially not designed to withstand that kind of uh, uh, wind load, so we wouldn't be able to do it on a wood pole. Yeah, that makes sense. Got it. Uh, and structural, so we are also known on the market to do a lot of uh, customization and collaboration with designers. Uh, and so we have a lot of startup product, but we are also very open to discuss with you about uh, custom designs. And the ballard you see on this picture is a, a good example. It's a, a ballard that was designed from an art museum in Wichita. Uh, and what you see here is in every small openings, we integrated tiny floodlights. And so at night it, it shines. It was a collaboration with Derek Porter uh, lighting design for this project. 